Hey guys, what's going on? It's GMT, and welcome back to another Evade video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the VIP menu that you can get inside of the private servers. I've had a lot of people ask questions about it and what exactly the VIP menu does for you. And it does do quite a bit, but there are some functions inside of this VIP menu that I can't exactly figure out myself. So maybe we will uh, solve some of these questions together inside of this video. But inside of Evade, you can buy a private server in the game for the small price of 70 Robux. A private server basically gives you access to own your own evade server you can play with your friends or you can host events or community stuff it gives you your own server and evade and with that comes some perks like the vip menu here so inside of the vip menu we can do a bunch of things by the way if you do own a private server inside of evade and you don't mess with the vip menu you do get rewards enabled you can do your daily missions you can go ahead and get tokens and coins to do whatever you can get xp to level up your character but if you edit anything inside of the vip menu it'll go ahead and and disable rewards so you can't earn XP, you can't earn coins or tokens or whatever. Making the round length 179 seconds instead of 180 seconds will go ahead and disable rewards. So literally anything you change. But the main things we have here inside of the VIP menu, so right off the bat we got the round length. So you can go ahead and change how long a round actually lasts inside of Evade. You have a death cooldown. As of right now, this is at zero, but if you were to go ahead and have a possible cooldown that you wanted to increase for whatever reason you could go ahead and do such thing we have a revive length which is three seconds you could make that zero seconds and just automatically revive people right away and then of course we also have lives here which are the amount of lives you get inside of the game if you do go down and stuff like that we have the amount of rounds for playing on a singular map so as of right now the current rounds and this is just an evade overall is three rounds so if you do select a map you'll play on that map for three rounds but you could change that to 10 rounds to play on that map or you could change it to one round just to play one round on that map and if you do change the round to one round on a map and evade every single round is going to be a special event because the last round of a map inside of evade is a special event round it's not every three rounds inside of evade it's actually just the last time you're playing on that map until you vote for the next map it's always going to be a special event so if you change the round to one you'll have a special event every single round on every single map that you play inside of evade we have the revive period which of course is the amount of time that your character can be down on the ground to be able to get revived so you could change that to a million if you wanted to so you could sit there forever not have to worry about actually passing away if no one were to revive you here's where things get a little bit uh interesting for a player and fun and even cheats so uh yeah so for players, okay, you can actually go ahead and permanently ban people from your server. Obviously, you can go ahead and change it to a private server where you can only allow friends to join or you can just invite certain people to join, but you have to have joins on for it to go ahead and exactly work. You have to have joins on for the private server just to even go ahead and join the private server. And sometimes doing so allows people that you don't want to enter the game. You can ban the person from the match. You just type in their username and it should ban the player from being able to actually join your private server and of course you do have to unban the user because it should be set in the log somewhere that they are banned so you got to remove that somehow it's kind of like putting in a little command it's like the command prompt and you can also kick and kill players so if you kill a player it should just go ahead and of course kill them inside of the match and then therefore if that's how you wanted to restart the map or whatever whatever you wanted to kill a player for but then you can also kick players this will remove them out of the match and then of course they can join the server back which is where the ban comes into play if you really want to go ahead and ban a person from your private server for the fun here you can actually put in your own special round no not one that you can just make up you can have a special round happen in the next round for your evade match if you just type it in here so for example if you wanted the angry munchie or muncie still don't know how to pronounce that if you wanted that round to happen you just type it in and then now that should be the next special round that appears inside of your evade match and then a music id of course is just the music that will be playing overall and the last things to go over here is the cheats editing these will disable rewards as well so for the server if you edit any of these it'll turn off rewards and for the cheats if you edit any of these it will go ahead and disable rewards so you can mess around with the player and the fun category here and still have rewards enabled which is dope but 
four cheats. This is where it gets a little weird that I was talking about in the start because the player speed and the jump height, you can change those and it does work. The player speed right now is 1450. You can change that to like 10,000 and move extremely fast in the match. You are literally Sonic sprinting all over the place. I probably wouldn't suggest 10K, but that is something you could do if you really wanted to. Your jump height is at normal three here, but you could also go ahead and change that to like 50 as well. And you should be able to jump on top of the roof inside of the research center. So if that's something you want to do as well, you can change your speed and your jump height. But the god player and the ungod player in the game is something that I just don't think works. Because before, when I found out that there was a VIP menu in a private server, and I saw the god player, I'm like, wow, this is going to help extremely well for videos. So if I were to go ahead and god myself, if you type in my Roblox username and hit enter, now you can see rewards are disabled, which means something obviously happened. So I should be god now, right? Right? I shouldn't take any damage from next spots. I can do whatever I please inside of the match. So now that that happened, if we do hop into a match of evade here, I will still get down. So I don't know if the God feature exactly works right now. And I haven't tested it actually until this update. So we'll go ahead and see whether or not I actually get killed by a next spot to see if God mode actually works. But this will be a test for the video to uh, see whether or not God mode is actually a thing. I don't know if I was doing something wrong. I might be doing something wrong. I don't, I'm just putting in my Roblox username. As you can see, this special round is the angry Muncie thing because I did input that into the uh, VIP server command. So uh, this little bugger should be coming here somewhere. I hate it. I, I hate that thing. Why did they put him in this game? That did prove something, though, that the god mode didn't exactly work. So uh, for those who do have a private server, and have you guys gotten god mode to work before? Have you guys inputted your usernames to actually have god mode work? Is god mode for next bots killing you? Is that what it's for? Or is god mode for something else? I'm not exactly for sure what god mode exactly does. I feel like it's self-explanatory for what it does comparing to other games that have god mode command prompts for you to use. But as of right now, it just doesn't work. Not for sure what that's all about, guys. But but anyways, that is pretty much everything for the VIP menu inside of Evade. This is kind of going to be a short little video of just going through everything and uh, whether or not this is something you guys want to possibly get in the future. If you guys do play Evade quite a bit and you play with your friends and you want to have some fun, you want to mess around compared to normal public servers in Evade, go ahead, buy yourself a private server. It's only 70 Bobux and you can go ahead and earn rewards in the server. So it's not completely throwing it down the drain, but you can also go ahead and have some fun with it as well. Let me know what you guys think about that VIP server and the comment section down below and of course if you do have anything with the god mode and any input on that also let me know in the comment section but anyways guys that's gonna be it for me my name is jmt and i will see you in the next one peace out guys